Hi there. Uh, in this tutorial, what you want to do is to create a footer that is going to be sticky at the end of our page. So we'll replicate this. Like as you can see here, we have used links. You know, um, there's the footer. There is the column for each footer. And then these are the titles, and then the various links that are there. So what I've done is to use the multi-user template and then we created our footer which is sticky on each of the pages that we have. So um, as you can see, of course, there's a navigation here that happens via the drawer and also navigation that happens each and every time you select a link so for example you have clicked branding here and it took us to the home page i'm going to click contact us it takes us to the contact us page I'm going to click services and it's going to your services page however you can also navigate to each page by clicking the various links that are here so what we have done we have used links here but then we execute prevent default for each of the links and then fire a page show method and then uh, for each of the links here, we're showing a notification there, design, marketing, advertisement about us, just to show how clicking the links work. Some links go and navigate to other pages, and like for example, contact us and services and branding, and others just show the notification. So as you can see, the footer is, is sticky across all pages in our web application. So let's look in terms of how this was done in our code. So uh, if you open the layout, the first thing that you need to do is to go to the app drawer because that's where our footer is sitting. Now, what we have done here, is just removed to ensure that the page for width is not checked you know um, that is the page viewer and then we have selected in our drawer that it has a footer a drawer can have a nav bar which is this a bottom nav bar and then a footer but because we already have a nav bar here that is outside the drawer we have left this one unchecked so the footer is sitting inside the app drawer and the name of the footer for the application is app footer you know so you can refer it to it using that id app footer and then any content that is sitting inside the drawer is inside an app drawer content component which is just this normal div so we've also added a toast here in our application this is an and the toast, you know, uh, it said it should show on the top right. So that's the first thing that you need to do. And then um, we have added another sub in PG index. Okay? This sub is created to our footer. So we added our footer here so that we can reference our footer because we want to add content to it and then I'm just going to add it and ignore here so that the toast is also ignored and then the create drawer footer is just a create drawer menu so if you look in relation to this what it does is to get the footer inside the drawer okay? so up footer is called up drawer dot footer uh, and then we set the background color to neutral and then text color to be neutral content and then we add some padding to it padding is just the area just at the border of the footer and then in the footer we add columns column one column two and column three which is what basically you see here column one column two and column three a column is just a div, you know, 
so there's nothing uh, fancy about it and then in each of the columns we added headers uh, uh, or footers and then links for example we add a footer title here services which is basically this one here and then company company and then we also added logo so it's just a footer title and then legal which is just doing what this is doing yeah we have divs yeah which are the columns and then we add footer title which is basically it's just adding the footer title inside that particular div yeah. there's the div which is c1 and then add the footer title and then we add links which is basically what we're doing here yeah. so in that column we add a link branding the reference the href is that and then we say that you should uh, hover basically saying that uh, when you focus on it you should hover you know and then what we do then in each of these links we add events so feature one l1 which is that one we're saying that when that is clicked prevent default it means that do not navigate to the href that might be here but you don't, don't want um if you wanted to navigate to the href that you might specify it, which might be external to the app then you can just write that there but you will not have an event so what we're saying is when f1 which is branding is clicked show the home page like for example we are in contact us page so if you click branding go to the home page mm -hmm. and then the footer true which is design show design so footer true design show the toast design that's why you're seeing the toast today and then the others marketing marketing etc etc now for this services that is here as you can see it's a link with a hover it's the same as this one but it, we just put a component uh, on the page like for example um, let me open the services layout so our btn contact us there is a link it's saying contact us there is hover there is the href the target is blank you know uh, this is saying make it a normal anchor since like so we'll just leave that for now so that is what we did instead of using buttons just like in the other example so as you can see here now uh, what we've also did is that when the page or the app is authenticated we need to hide the footer I'll show you because if we don't do this the footer will be shown as soon as the sign in page is open okay so let's run this again so that you can see what is going to happen here because authenticated when we run our application for the first time is false basically meaning that it goes here and then if saying if it's false which will be this here it will have the nav bar and hide the app bar but now what do we need to do let's just run this example to see what happens if we do not add the app footer to show or app footer dot hide call what it will do as soon as you log in it will show your footer um, depending on how you want to design your application of course you can show the footer anytime you want by just calling the hide and the show methods okay let's just wait for this to compile so that we see what is going to happen here but um, as I've shown I've shown that you can navigate from one page to the page uh, to, the, to the page using an anchor which is a SGI link you can also have your links on your footer by adding columns on your footer and then uh, adding whatever you need to add there. I mean a footer is just a normal grid 
and you can add your rows and columns into it and add any component that you want to add to it but in this particular instance we just added the components that are inside the footer with code and also it's important that if for example you want the footer to be padded then you add the padding because by default the padding is not added so you need to add that uh, depending on what size you want for your particular footer so uh, there's the two things that you have learned here uh, navigation uh, using an anchor which is an SDI SDU link and also having a sticky footer at the bottom of your page and that footer has columns and in each of the columns there are links that one can click and then when clicking events you can execute navigation to another page page services dot show or execute something else but remember each and everything that is clickable must have a prevent default so that you see this is what i was talking about because we are not hiding the footer for authentication then automatically it is shown in our page when we sign in so you can have something like this also in your app and because usually there's nothing into this or as you will just it will just be public available information in each of these links but okay, of course if you click contact us now it won't work because this is a model so we sign in and then it shows our page and then we can navigate to each of the pages that we're doing and show whatever we want to show so that's it uh, thanks